Hey, what's going on, y'all? What's going on? Um, just gonna be real quick. Um, I was pondering on something, you know, and uh, I was thinking about. <coughs> I was thinking about uh, basically rest, right, and being filled with the Holy Spirit. I was talking to my pastor last Sunday and I was talking to him, to him about, you know, pastors taking breaks or whatever. And, uh, he broke it down, like how pastors do it and how, you know, in the year or whatever, and throughout the year, they take like a month off. Some pastors take a few months off. Um, you know, just to to basically be poured back into because pastors pour so much of themselves out. And uh, I had brought up a uh, renowned uh, pastor that um, I listened to who I, you know, I, I learned a lot from. And... Um, I was telling him, I was like, man, he wrote over a hundred books. And I was just telling him, you know, in that time, you know, where did you rest? When did you get poured back into, you know, um, when did you allow yourself to be poured back into um, the Lord to pour back into you? Because pastors, they're not exempt from falling, you know what I mean? And we see that now. Um, pastors are not exempt from falling. Um, you know, and, and the more we pour out, you know, the more we pour out, the more we give so much of ourselves away we become like susceptible to temptation um susceptible to falling into sin and uh the pastor I'm t I was telling him about you know he stepped down um those who know me know who I'm talking about but he stepped down because of sin and uh you know, it's just a big thing to where if you're giving so much of yourself away, when are you, when is the Lord pouring back into you? Um, because at the end of the day, we, we, we have to depend on God, you know, at the end of the day, we have to. Remember that he is our source of strength, that he is our source of joy. He is the one that gives us peace. He is the one who gives us strength to overcome temptation. And then when you think about it, if you're pouring so much out, when are you resting back in him? When is he filling your cup back up? You know, um, it's just, it's something to uh, really ponder on. Um, I was just having a conversation with my girlfriend. You know, the reason, <coughs> the reason why, you know, it's so easy to, to, I guess, fall into, you know, temptation into sin as a leader, it seems, is because we're putting so much of ourselves out there. We're giving so much of, of ourselves away to where it's like, okay, these people are depending on me, but at the end of the day, they have to depend on the Lord. So if you're not available, always guide them back to who the source is. You know, the source is Jesus Christ. And the thing I love about when we get drained or whatever, right? We have him to depend on. So if we're pouring so much of ourselves out. I, I love how it is. We pour so much of ourselves out, right? 
and then we can go back to the source. So at the end of it all, literally, God is the the, the first and the last, the beginning and the alpha and omega. So we can always go to him. He's literally the author and the finisher of our faith. He is the one that strengthens us to do um, what he's called us to do. We can't go out, keep going out, boom, boom, giving ourselves away, doing this, that. Because our identity, first and foremost, is not in what we do. Our identity is in Christ. So sometimes we can get a little puffy in the mind thinking like, okay, I'm doing this. This is all for God. And it sure as, my, it sure as well be. I think I said that wrong, but hopefully you get it. But it could be. But at the end of the day, just because you're doing stuff don't mean you're being filled back up. At the end of the day, after you do this, you need to be filled back up. Because now it's easy for me to fall into sin. You know, and we have to remember just because we're doing stuff, that's not our identity. That's not what saves us. Jesus saves us. And then I'll finish it off here. There were times in Jesus' ministry when there were so many people around. And even Jesus, God, 100% man, 100% God. God was, was full. But the man, the humanity of Jesus needed filling back up. He needed to break away. And be filled to speak to the Lord again. He needed to be filled by the Father. So if God. If God and his humanity. Needed to be filled again. What makes you think we don't? You know. Because God doesn't want us to go into burnout. God doesn't want that for us. He doesn't want us to burn out. But we have to learn to pace ourselves. Um, Because burnout is no joke. Because once you burned out, you ain't going to feel like doing nothing. And God doesn't want that. You know, he's our source of strength. He is our source of power. (sighs) Ultimately, God is our source. So I just wanted to encourage that um, to whoever listens. And um, yeah, I hope you're blessed by it. I just was pondering on it. Had a good fellowship with my girlfriend. And yeah, I just wanted to encourage that. um, Because I experienced it a couple years ago, yo. And it ain't no joke trying to get back in. Being pulled to and fro into this, that, and the third ministry. And it's like God's not even leading you to it. But you like feel obligated to do it. And it's like, look, rest. Rest. Do what the Lord has for you. You know, but ultimately remember who your source is. Jesus is your source. The Holy Spirit will fill you. So always, you know, make room to depend on him. Always depend on him. Because after a while, you pouring yourself out, you are going to drain yourself out to a point you ain't going to feel like doing nothing. And God doesn't want this for, for his children. So I just want to encourage that. Peace.